What's going on YouTube family? Back at you guys again with another video. Today's video is going to be on the topic of, you know, which tools do I use for my retail arbitrage business? Um, I've been getting tons of comments. What's that software you're using? What's that specific scanning app you're using? So today I want to just go through all the um, paid subscriptions I use, the free ones, all the stuff I use inside of my retail arbitrage business and just kind of break down and give you a brief description of what each one does. So the first tool and in my opinion the most important tool if I had to pick one software um, that I had to use for the rest of my Amazon career it would be Inventory Lab. Reason being is Inventory Lab makes life so much easier. If you've had experience just listing stuff on the back end of Amazon, printing your printing your labels on the back end of Amazon, it really is time consuming. It takes a long time and Inventory Lab really just cuts that time by 95%, right? And the reason being is because you can come in here and you just scan your products into Inventory Lab, type in the price, type in which price you want, you go add to batch, right? So what it does is basically it will print out your Amazon F and SKU label. You you can put in the quantities you have and it'll print out that many labels. Um, and it really just speeds up the time for listing. Okay, listing and prepping is probably the most time consuming part of an Amazon business. And if you are not utilizing these type of tools to um, speed up your prepping process, you are losing money and you are losing money big time because that time you're spending prepping, you could be outsourcing, finding new suppliers, finding a new private label product, whatever it is. Inventory Lab is not really necessary for private label, but you guys know what I mean. So Inventory Lab is awesome. I recommend every Amazon seller, regardless of what level you're at, you need to have some type of inventory management software. Also inside of this, guys, you can it tells you how much um, your average um, profit is per sale. It tells you how much inventory you have it keeps track of your accounting so it really has all these benefits inside of a listing software that i think all of you guys can use um pricing's pretty fair i just do the monthly plan 49 bucks a month it sounds like a lot but trust me it will make you that plus much more also guys you can try it out 30 days free trial um and the great thing about Inventory Lab is you guys know that scanning software I use in all my video. It's called Scoutify 2. Okay, comes free with Inventory Lab. So you're getting a, a scouting uh, or you're getting Inventory Lab, which is the listing software, which speeds everything up. You get the scouting app, Scoutify 2. Um, it's a scanning software. It's my favorite one by far. Make stuff a lot easier. If you guys want another video, I can go into deep detail of how Inventory Lab works, how Scoutify 2 works. But all you guys have been asking, what scanning app is that? It's Scoutify 2 and it comes free with Inventory Lab. Okay, guys? So that's the first tool and the most important software, everything that I use personally. Okay, guys? This next one is another um, app, scanning app, but it's specifically made for booksellers, right? So if you're just starting and you're trying to sell books, this is the app you want to get. Um, it allows you to download the Amazon database, which basically means it downloads all the data from Amazon, um, pricing, ranks, all that stuff. So you don't have to use an interconnect, internet connection to scan. And if you've been selling on Amazon, you know, sometimes in these stores, internet's not fast. You're not getting connection, all that stuff. And the thing with books is you want to scan as fast as possible. It's a numbers game with books. So having that database option with Scout IQ really allows you to scan through books extremely, extremely fast. So check out Scout IQ if you guys want to sell books. Um, I wouldn't even try to source books without Scout IQ or a book scanning app. It's just not worth your time really. So check out Scout IQ. Next is a repricers. I have two options. I made another video on this. So if you guys want, go check out my channel and find this video. But these are just repricers. Um, you don't need this one for starting out, but it really helps because it just automatically reprices every one of your products within a certain time period, whether you want that to be once an hour, every 15 minutes. The thing with reprice it is you have 24 um, set times you can reprice a day, whereas with Be Cool, it's every 15 minutes, or if you pay for the super. Let's see which one it's called. If you pay for the high subscription, you can reprice up to every five minutes, which is awesome. I don't have that version. I just have the um, $25 a month version because I only have a thousand listings, so it reprices all those. 
So yeah, guys, check out these repricers. If you have a lot of inventory, especially if you're doing like books and stuff too, it can be hard to reprice all your inventory, time consuming. So it's definitely worth investing in one of these. Be cool, 25 a month, reprice it. Is if you have 500 items or less, 10 bucks a month. And you guys can just go and check these websites out and see the pricing. But these two websites are for repricers. The next two are free tools, Camel, Camel, Camel. It just allows you to see a lot of data, um, sales rank, sales history, um, price drops, and what that means. I'll show you something. Uh, let's look up some of these. Okay, so we're looking at the price history. It's showing you the price history, the high, the lows, the currents. Um, the main thing I look for with Camel, Camel, Camel is the sales rank. Oh, disabled. Let's see why it is disabled. Okay, it's been temporarily disabled. Nike shoes, let's see. I kind of want to show you guys just so you guys can see how it works. Okay, so sales rank. What the heck is going on here? Maybe I'm not logged in. Um, I don't know why it's not working, but usually it has a graph just like this. And it'll it'll look just like this. And every, every little spike that you see on this graph is a sale. So if you wanna see how many sales are happening per month, if you see a lot of activities, that means that product is selling consistently, it's selling fast, and every movement in sales rank basically accounts for a sale so camel 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 free you can basically just look up sales data to you know determine whether or not you want to invest in a specific product um, the next one is keepa keepa download the chrome extension um, just go to keepa.com click on whichever browser you want i do the chrome extension and then i'll show you what that looks like as well Okay, so let's click on this Trader Joe's thing, and I'll show you exactly what Keepa does. It's pretty awesome. I use Keepa a lot more than Camel Camel Camel. Um, it basically just shows you, I just always look at the statistics. It shows you the lowest price, lowest rank, which dates the average. I always look at the average price, the average rank to determine whether or not I'm going to buy a product. So this is a great free tool to have to see the average sales rank over a specific period of time, the average price, so on and so forth. So go check out Keepa and download that Chrome extension. Super useful um, and super beneficial to source selling products. Next is going to be BrickSeek. I don't usually use BrickSeek that much, but if you find a product at, let's say, Walmart, Target, it's a great deal, good profit margins. I use BrickSeek to check inventory levels at other stores. So what I would do is I'd come here, go to the UPC. Let me look up an item on Amazon that I can kind of show you. Okay, Monopoly. So basically, all this... All I usually use BrickSeek for is just to, for inventory checkers. It's free. You can check the inventory at all these other Walmarts so you know exactly which one has how many of this, how many of that. So you guys can plan your sourcing trips accordingly if you're hunting it down a specific product. Let's go to ASIN. Okay, we're going to copy and paste that for the sake of this video. Oh, it's looking for a UPC. Um... I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll just show you guys with like a TV, right? So what I do is I type in your area code. I live in the area code 85226. Don't stalk me, please. No, I'm just kidding. But see, it shows you all the different Walmarts, their location, how many they have in stock, which price they're at. So this um, website's super helpful. If, you find, if you're find if you doing some retail arbitrage and you find a product, you want to buy more of them, but you bought all of them at a specific Walmart, head to BrickSeek, type it in under the inventory checkers and it'll show you which Walmart still have um, what they have in stock and what the price is so that's a super helpful little tool for you guys you can also find deals I don't usually use BrickSeek that much to find deals but they're on there if you guys want to browse through here and check out some deals next is going to be Jungle Scout and the sake of this video is based on retail arbitrage if this was a private label based video I'd be recommending different things but just for retail arbitrage all you need is the estimator tool right so if you're wondering okay let's say the rank is 56,000 you're at the store right and you want to look up the how many sales this product's getting a month choose the United States marketplace and let's go to like let's see baby or beauty let's go to beauty okay so the ranks beauty 
It's 56,000 rank. This is saying it sells five items or less per month. I want to give you guys a better example. So let's go to toys and games. Is it really not going to work for this video? Makes sense. It never seems to work. Okay, probably because I didn't have a comma. Um, but 56,000 rank. This is just an estimate. It's sometimes accurate, sometimes a little off, but it gives you a brief idea. Um, so a 56,000 rank toy selling somewhere around 60 units per month. This tool is great just to help you um, identify whether or not a product is selling well or not. And that's super important because you don't want to be sourcing products that just aren't selling. So go check out Jungle Scout's free pricing calculator, sales estimator thing. It's under resources, free tools, estimator tool, blah, 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 blah. Go check it out. Super easy, super simple, helpful tool. Next is websites like Raise. There's tons of other gift card websites out there. This is probably the most popular one, but if you're doing retail arbitrage, you want to utilize discount gift cards as much as possible. Same with online arbitrage because you're just saving extra money, right? So like some of these stores, Cabela's 10%. Dick Sporting gets 8%, GameStop 6%. You can buy these gift cards at a discount. And trust me, if you're doing retail arbitrage on somewhat of a high level, spending quite a bit of money, these gift cards can save you a lot of money. So go check out discount um, gift cards. Just type in discount gift cards on Google. Come check out these different websites. Search for the stores you're looking for and see if you can pick up some gift cards at a discount. And the last website I used to use, I don't sell books anymore, but... Sorry, I know a lot of you guys are new, so you guys are probably getting into the book game. So this is a very helpful website, booksalefinder.com. Helps you find all the book sales in your area to find cheap books to flip on Amazon. So I live in Arizona. You guys would click whichever state you live in, and it basically just shows you the dates and which book sale it is pretty much. So 15th through the 18th, we have one in Tucson, right? So I'll click on that. 50,000 books, two to five dollars, Sunday half price, Monday $10 bag day. Definitely check out those $10 bag days. Um, once you can pay a set price just to fill bags full of books, that's where you make the good money. Um, but yeah, definitely check out booksalefinder.com to find the local book sales in your area. You guys can get books dirt cheap at these book sales and make some pretty decent money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification um, to stay updated for when I post new videos. I actually have a few um, retail arbitrage vlogs dropping this week, some private label content dropping this week. So you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. Also, if you're new, be sure to uh, hit the link in the description for the free Facebook group. We're growing super fast. We have almost 500 members in there. Everyone asks questions. They get answered fairly quickly. So if you're new, that's a super helpful place for you guys to be. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you guys gained some value from this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next one.